All right, this is an Oracle's ROM hack created for Hackathon, which is to celebrate the release of Linolab version 2.0, which allows people to create easier ROM hacks for the Oracle games. They were given about a month to create a, these hacks, and we get to play them. This, in, this one here is called Switch Pot Grotto. It's created by Supreme Shield on. So let's jump in and see what we got. So we're on an island. All there is here is the entrance to the grotto. Switch pod grotto. What do we got? I love that it's using the D3 palette because this is like on the island. So everything is based on uh, Dungeon 3. But obviously we're going to get a switch hook, and we're going to do some shenanigans with it. Hey, what's up, Oreo? Thanks for the good luck. Oop. Alright, we start with a shield, obviously to push these guys into the pits. Maybe not those guys, but someone, someone here has to get pushed into a pit. There we go. And we get the power globe, okay? If you had known about this hackathon, you might have made it one simple hack. Yeah, I I thought about making a little something, but I was like, I don't know if I have enough time for it. See if we can get get this here. Alright, let's give ourselves three shots for this. There we go. Aha. I figured... I figured something like that was gonna happen. Got a sword. You got Questmaster on Steam. I feel like I've heard of something like that. Oh yay! Who wants to throw some uh, <laughs> some pots at at Moblins? Oh, that probably just opened the door. Okay. 
Sign. To obtain a key, one must destroy the crystals. Uh, do I want to jump down there? I probably have to. No, we're, we're gonna have to come back here with the switch hook, and we're gonna have to do a bunch of stuff. Yeah, we're gonna have to jump down here. Let's see what we have available. Pull a lever, Kronk. back in a little bit. Or, no, we, we gotta do this. We have to do this to move on. So what did that do? I mean, I, I understand why it's called Switch Pot Grotto. Because you get pots when you hit switches. I kind of want to just see what's up there. Alright, there's like a, a doorway there. I don't think I can make it there in time. Unless there is... push some of these blocks out of the way. Either that, or I have to go a different way. Because I think I need to get the switch hook for that. Maybe now that I have a sword? We're able to do something else. Oh, maybe with the the spinner. It yeah, maybe progressions with the spinner. Yeah, let's see if I can get to the spinner from a different direction. Oh yeah, I probably have to take the spinner here. To get back to that spinner area, I have to do more progression.
I need a key. That's the thing. I, I need a key in order to, to get out of here. Unless hitting this crystal three times will do the trick. No. Yeah, to obtain a key, one must destroy the crystals. Again, it feels like I need to have the switch hook at this point. Everywhere I go, it looks like I want to have the switch hook. Yeah, there's nothing else down here. Yeah, hit, being able to re-hit the switch is very convenient. Trying to figure out, like, going down here. Can't hit that. Like, it, fe it feels very linear, but then we get here. And that chest looks like something you want a switch up for. Actually, like, a lot of things are things you want to have a switch hook for. Can I push? Push a block into it? Throw the sign at it! Probably a reason for that. Oh wait, I can go down. I can go down. Okay. Oh, I see what I have to do. I see what I have to do. We have to throw the the pot at the beetle to push it off. It gives me a key here. Okay. There we go. Oh, 
Like, it, it's very linear dungeon. Like, I figured that as much. I need to push the blocks first. Sometimes when you don't know where the pot will spawn, you don't know what you need to do ahead of time. Oh? We got a thing. We got a switch hook. Okay. Now that we have the switch hook, we can start doing a lot of work. Okay, that's to switch the buttons, okay. What's down here? Or what's up? Oh no, we came from down there, okay. I see what I have to do. I see it. Maybe. Yeah, okay, yeah. <laughs> it's so weird. But it works. It deletes the block that it's under. So yeah, by deleting the block, you're able to get through there. I mean, they've... It was already introduced to us, right? through the thing up top. So this is actually a very well-made hack. And of course, I already know the solution to this. Because I, I pretty much figured this out the first time around. I, I was like, there's no way I'm fast enough. I need a switch hook in order to get back up there. Ah! It can't land on a half tile. Okay, that's how you destroy them. See, now we're cooking. Thank you. 
Now, how do you get up there? That's... Probably nothing we can do right now. Or I'm trying to think of where we can go. Yeah, it's kind. It's kind of like that. It's kind of like Eagle Tower. I probably have to pull this out. Oh, it ends up up. It ends up above. It's, if the thing's on the top of a tile, it ends up above it. If it's on the bottom of a tile, it destroys it. Okay. We are learning a lot about these half tile uh, barriers today. <laughs> What's the purpose of the pots here? Oh, probably so that we can kill all these guys and get back. We need to end up in a set certain spot. So we need to kill... This guy needs to just get back here. There we Lever permits a way through. <gasps> oh! <laughs> you can switch hook over the lever. That's cool. Oh, we can't go back that way because of the button. But now... We have access to this side. Okay. Oh, we're getting both in this dungeon. We're getting both. Yeah, I don't think there's a reason. I think that's just a way back. Easy way back here from the start. Oh no, not slates. <laughs> gonna be getting slates. Alright, that's that's our way back over here. Oh I shouldn't have killed him. Or no. Actually it's fine. Is it? Is it fine? Don't have a way Oh wait. What's this?
Oh, I probably have to bring... Bring that over. And then it, it can spawn another one. There we go. There we go. Now we're thinking with levers. Oh, this is gonna be fun. We're gonna have to do this, what, three times? Oh, wait. Wait, 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 wait. I gotta do something sneaky real quick. There we go. Because otherwise, it spawns on the treasure chest and you're not gonna get the treasure chest. That was sneaky. Alright, so that was one side. we got up here. We got lava, we have one of those, okay. Yeah, breaks there. I didn't pay attention to what we we had up there. <laughs> do we have anything available? We do not. How long is the lever? Are we just going to be doing, like, lever shenanigans here? <laughs> oh, I can't get that one over here. I need to get- I need to get these in place before I use up my pots. Like that. Okay. Because now I can start making the train. Because that's what we need to do, is we need to make a train.
Oh wait, before I do that, I want to get it way back. Oh, I was in the bad spot. I was in a bad spot there. Now, now once we do this, uh, we just need that to get out of here. do I get on that minecart? Probably have to keep going. Alright, so that's two. Okay, so that slate is probably from a different direction. Got it. Yeah, there is the minecart. So I need to set up an escape route. That allows me to escape from up there. Uh, can I get... Can I get a switch up there? That's not going to let it go. Yeah, a lot of these hacks are really cool. Oh, that's going to let me get back up there. From the other direction.
That's how we do it. Okay. Or no, I'm not not there yet. I'm not there yet. I gotta get a a thing over to the left side. This one's definitely tricky. Yeah, I only get one shot at this. Or no! Oh, I see how to move it over there. I think I see how to move it over there. I have to go this way. We take the minecart, we pull it over. We drop, we fall off. We do it again. This this does require taking damage. Or no, it doesn't require. It just requires me to pay attention to what I'm doing. Alright, so now I should have a way over here. We hit that switch, we jump in the minecart. There we go. Now minecart mayhem. We gotta kill these guys. <laughs> this is like a a DK kind of level. <laughs> it, it reminds me of like one of those DK mini games. Alright. One more. One more sleep. Right, there's something over here. Okay. How am I to do this? I'll pull it out. Alright, this one looks like it's gonna be tricky. What's down here? Is this just a reset room? Probably a reset room. Yeah. Pull down. I probably should have put that down first. Okay. I think that's the right right pathing. I just have to Hmm. No, I, I can't do that because I get stuck in here.
unless I do this. Switch up, switch up. No, that, then I get stuck down here. Okay. This definitely has a very specific solution. I feel like I was getting close with this this solution here. That one down. Yeah, bots are all over the place. See, if I had the pot still there, I could do that. I need to get a way to get up there with the pot still up there. Oh, this might work. This might work. Oh no. No, it won't. I need to get that into the button. That's probably there for a reason. Hold on. Hold on. I think we're cooking a little bit here. Yo, what's up, Nocturnize? Thanks for the tier one for six months. Appreciate it. Oh, now how do I get back there? Yeah, right now that's the best deal on Twitch, is to pay for six months in advance while September is going on. Alright, so this has to have some something to do with the solution here. Oh, I'd probably pull this one over. Thank you. 
now. It's hard to tell if we're making progress. Yo, Doug the Redbeard, thanks for four months. Appreciate it. Definitely feels like doing something like this makes the most progress. I have to put the pot in position, go from the other side. out. There we go. There we go. That's how you do it. Got a slate for it! Yay! Yo, what's up, Jelly in the Sea? Thanks for the good luck. I think we're probably pretty close to the end at this point. We've obtained four slates. We've done a lot of puzzling. that. Oh, we don't have a boss key. Boss key's way up there. Hmm. Yo, Oreo, thanks for the eight months. Appreciate it. I think we gotta get into that somehow. We gotta get into that staircase. that button. So we can't go that way. If there is something over here. No. I don't remember. Oh, that's the top floor. That's the where we came from, like to begin with. Is there anything up there?
I think it's just this staircase. We just gotta get in that staircase. Get there from the top? That's not working. Maybe with the level 2 switch, there's some weird pathing we can take. Like, is there something that we weren't able to do earlier? Not that I can see. That's blocking our path back that way. Oh! I think that's what we gotta do here. Is that going to do anything for me, though? I got to follow these paths. Probably re-hit the switch. the switch hook to get all the way back. Yeah, that was our way to re-hit the switch, essentially. So now we just gotta make our way all the way to the back. if I have to just do this multiple times? Yeah, this is definitely a very puzzling hack. I like it.
way I, yeah, that's the way I wanted to go. Down here. Yep. We got to the stairs. All right. Here's our boss key puzzle. Empty the center and the path to the boss shall be unlocked. Oh, I see. <laughs> you destroy the crystal using the pot. That's that's pretty cool. Alright, so now we just gotta go all the way back. I guess in theory, the best way out is just to save and quit. <laughs> yeah, that's up, so we gotta change it. Combining the red-blue switch with the spinner really made this puzzle, like this dungeon, very puzzly, with very specific paths you had to go. Yeah, Nintendo should add these hard dungeons into their games. Yeah, for sure. Oh wait, I gotta, I gotta redo that. I don't know about the pot thing with uh, deleting things underneath the pots. But yeah, just having like a really good foundation. Okay, yeah, I just go that way. Oh, then I have to go the, the long way. I actually have to go the long way because of the way the spinner is. Okay. Yeah, some of these puzzles were very challenging. I really don't like I really enjoyed them. Really made me think. Oh wait, I have to go. You have to go up. That's the way out. I 
at least like this part through, like I know the what I have to do. It's like getting out of here is not gonna be that hard. Oh wait, I have to be like right up against it. Wait, why is it not letting me? Why is it not letting me now? Hello? There we go. That's really finicky. I got a first drive last time, but this time it took me like, I don't know, a lot of tries. Should be time for the boss. Okay. This sounds interesting. Using smog? As the boss, like the puzzly boss. And then using... Using pots and switches to get them together. This this works really well. Oh yeah, we got to we got to do it here. One of these got to move, I think. Yeah, even the boss is getting really puzzly. <laughs> okay. Alright, we got one more phase. Thank you. 
Oh, I see. I see. Go here. There. I'm making a lot of mess up there. Let me reset that. Because <laughs> I'm making a mess. I'm taking a lot of damage, too. How do I get a second one out here? That one green block is weird. Like, I can get one here. Then I can't get out. Unless it's going to be one of these things. I can push the green block to the left. It's 
it does go to the left. Okay. And now we can get out. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> it was going to be something stupid. Something really silly, right? Well, <laughs> we died. I think I can just go back this way. Yeah, yeah, we can just get back that way. I thought I tried pushing on the block, but I guess I didn't. I didn't push long enough, maybe? Or I only pushed when there was a pot there. I don't know, either way, we're... We should be okay this time. Boss just does a lot of uh, of damage to you. Back to here. We got this this time. Oh, I have I have to get rid of the pot. I have to get rid of the pot first. That's probably why I'm like was struggling. Cause you can't. You have to get rid of the pot. Then you come over here. Then you push. Then you hit the switch. It's a very specific set of instructions you have to do. Also, with these two, it's like really annoying to get around them, get that thing in position. But there we go. You did it! Congrats! This is the end of the small hack. Hope you enjoyed it. Yeah, I definitely enjoyed it. The puzzles were really good. Obviously, like, a couple things that I didn't pick up on right away, but a couple things that I did pick up on right away, so it kind of evened out overall. Definitely enjoyed it. I mean, I knew about that block. The block being a different color obviously meant something with it, but trying to figure out what it was while getting bombarded with attacks was kind of difficult. But yeah, this was uh, the last of the hackathon hacks that we got to play. Definitely enjoyed pretty much all of them. 
Oh yeah, we can we can get the essence. <laughs> there we go. I could have lifted the sign either way. Yeah, if you didn't make it green, then good luck. But yeah, if you guys enjoy this kind of content, make sure to leave a like, subscribe, comment, all that good stuff, and I will catch you all next time.